are here at Halloween Horror Nights. That's gonna be a bad edit later. Mm -hmm. okay, sorry, mom. But um, yeah. What are your thoughts right now? Weird. You can hear like chainsaws and stuff already right now. So Cam <laughs> is not excited. Well, I think he's a little excited. I'm excited. A little bit. I'm They're open until 2 a.m. Yeah. This is gonna be insane. I'm really excited. watching this because of Halloween Horror Nights or whatever. Um, some things that you need to know. So I have really bad sensory issues, especially when it comes to loud noises and stuff. Um, it's been a thing my entire life. Um, yeah. One thing I will say, so I know for the next house that we go to, I need to wear my noise canceling headphones and that's okay. That is perfectly fine. If you are a person out there that needs Accommodations for, okay, cut me off. But I've seen a lot of people use accommodations and it seems like Universal is really accommodating with um, all types of needs. So yeah, don't be afraid to utilize those. If you need them, use them. All right, it is the next morning. We are on our way to Islands of Adventure. Uh, but I wanna talk about last night. So, um, a little like review, Hollywood Horror Nights, in my opinion. So it was a lot more intense than I was expecting it to be, um, which is fine, but, um, left onto Samoan court, then left on like, for example, I don't want to poopy on like these employees cause they're literally just doing their job, but I like specifically asked a universal cast member or team member um if there were fireworks in the show that we were gonna watch and she was like oh no it's just like these little sparklers and it's fine guess what there were fireworks so yeah if someone asks be honest i guess um but yeah i think i think that like it technically wasn't fireworks but it was like a a charge that was like it made a really loud boom and there wasn't like a like a flash or anything so it wasn't visually very like like the the boom itself wasn't too visually bad but it was it was really bad it was loud it was bad but i did specifically tell her that i have problems with like sudden loud noises so i don't know whatever i once again i don't want to poopy on this poor worker because like you know she probably just didn't know but Nonetheless, um, I had fun still. Did you? Yeah, it, was fun. it was a lot of fun. Um, the ambiance, the like everything, it was gorgeous. Like they really, they really go all out for this. And it's really, really cool. It's just um, a little intense for me. And I really love, I love horror movies. I love scary. I love like everything like that. And even like, I was like, okay, this is a little bit intense for me. So, yeah, may not be going back, maybe.
we'll see. Um, but yeah, um, overall, it was pretty cool. If that's your thing, totally go. So uh, we are in the queue for Velocicoaster. Uh, we're in the single rider line because Addy has decided not to ride it. Absolutely and not. Absolutely not. But I wanted her to see the queue anyway, so uh, yeah. And he is actually a single rider, so we're not lying. It'll be a lot of fun. Another one. <laughs> I'm here to help keep you and your belongings safe during your Raptor run today. To access a locker, you will use your park ticket. If your ticket is on your phone, see the nearest team member for assistance. All right. So, we just did, uh, what was it called? Poseidon's Wrath. Yeah. Uh, I had never done it before. Uh, this is only my second time at Universal ever. You've probably been more than once. I've been more than once, but this is the first time I've done it. Besides Wrath, so. It was like, um, like a show. I don't know, like, um. Like a special effects show. Yeah, it was kind of like a Terminator, but that was still here. It was really, really cool. I've never done it before. I had no idea what to expect. But it was extremely cool. Uh, they had, like, live actors. They had all these like, special effects. It was really cool. Very, very cool. And now we're in line for Hagrid's. For Hagrid's. We're in line for Hagrid's motorbike. Right now it says it's a 90 minute wait, and that's the lowest that we've seen it all they, day. They just upped it to 100 minutes. That's just like 10 more people got in line behind us. Yeah. But um, this is the lowest that we've seen it all day, so we decided to, to go ahead and hop in. We saw it under 100 minutes, go ahead and hop in. It was 150 when we first got here, yeah. so. It's pretty good. So. All right, we are here at City Walk, and me and Cam just got Voodoo Donuts. Neither of us have had it before, so this is really exciting. So let me show you what we got. All right, so Cam is a really big like fruit flavor guy. I am not. So this is uh, a mango tango. Uh, I'm assuming it's mango flavored. And then this is his other one, the Little Pink Man, I think it was called. It's strawberry frosting with these little little sprinkles. And this is what I got. It is called the Diablo's Red. Mango Tango from Voodoo Donut. The last video cut me off a little bit, but yeah, there's Cam. But Ooh. yeah, isn't this one perfect for me? It's literally a chocolate donut with a little spooky print, a little pentagram, uh, pentagram action. Ooh! It's mango jelly. Ooh! 